Let's make some crock pot Christmas crack. All right. We're gonna start with one 16 ounce container of unsalted peanuts. And then we're gonna add one 16 ounce container of salted peanuts. These are my favorite. And we're just layering everything in right now. Next, a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. A bag of milk chocolate chips. And a bag of Reese's peanut butter chip. And like I said, we're just layering all this in here. And last but not least, you're gonna need a pound of vanilla uh, candy coating or an almond bark. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break this up just so it'll melt better like this. There we go. As you can see, you're gonna need a large crock pot. This is a big seven quart crock pot and it's still pretty full, so be prepared. But once you have all your ingredients in your large crock pot, all you need to do is put your lid on, set it to low, beep boop boop, and wait two hours. We'll be back. All right, our Christmas crock pot crack, as we're calling it, has been in here on low for two hours. And it's definitely melting. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Go ahead and give this a good stir. Get all the Nuts integrated with the chocolate and the peanut butter, white chocolate, white vanilla candy coating. I don't even actually know what that is. I just know it's in here. Let's leave it in here on low now that it's stirred for another 30 minutes. I'm gonna go lick this spoon. What did you think I was kidding? Okay. Whew. That looks so delicious. Uh, in case you're wondering, I did wash this after I licked it. Don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna lick it again anyways. But yes, I did wash it. Okay. So now per the recipe, I'm supposed to scoop this out and put it on wax paper and let it harden. Uh, I don't have wax paper. I'm not a wax paper. Uh, so I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna see if I can put them into these little cupcake cups. And, well, hopefully they won't stick to the paper. All right, well, there's only one way to find out, right? Let's, uh, let's get scooping and see what happens. I do know that you don't need to watch me scoop all of these. That would be silly. So, let's fast forward, shall we? Magically, like this. All right, well, now I guess we just need to let these cool down and harden. So let's give it, I don't know, 30 minutes. Before they completely cool down, I decided I wanted to give them a little bit of Christmas sprinkles. Since the recipe says it's called Christmas crack, I thought we would keep the Christmas theme going. Some little red and green sprinkles. Again, I don't know if I'll ever get these out of the paper. This is completely new to me, so we'll find out. All right, see you in 30 minutes. All right, they're out, they've cooled. Which one do we want, this one? Let's see, when do they come out of the, oh, they do, okay. So I was really worried that they wouldn't come out of the paper easily, um, but they do. I was silly. So I can serve these to my guests. Uh, well, I guess first I gotta try one. So let's do that. All right, the recipe was called crock pot Christmas crack. So I couldn't resist it. Let's give it a shot. I mean, it's pretty damn good. If you like peanuts and chocolate, what's not to love? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. 
I could see how it could be like crack. If you like those things. Uh, it's ridiculously sweet. I mean, it's literally just chocolate. It's just candy and peanuts. But it's good. I'm going to eat a couple more of these. Just to make sure I like them. And then I'll uh, give the rest to my kids and their friends. Crockpot Christmas Crack. Tell me what you think in the comments. Let's do that again. Let's do that again.